Well, look what we have here. You're all ready for running? Well, look what we have here. This is pretty exciting. Blue Escalante. There you go, Cammy. There you go. Memory, there you go. There you go. Eden, here you go. Felia, the most important ones for you are right there. Or are the seven? Are you ready? They put in there. No, I like this. They smell good? Yeah. All right. What do you think about that color? Great. <laughs> Okay, Dove and Eden are a little bitter because they did not order this color. But the color that we wanted, we sent to Ultra and they actually took a long time to get to us. So by that time the color was out. So that's all you guys are stuck with. What is that? It says it's coral. It's not pink, it's coral. It's pink. No, call it coral. It and feels purple. better. Ooh, what do you think of those? They're too big. Look at it. Well, we'll see. Yay. And finally, my pair. Oh no, Dad. So oh, yeah. I have those brand new ones that I could run with. But the last ones Ultra sent me, they're like kind of worn out, but they're still good. And I hate throwing away shoes before they're like, when I can still get any miles on them. So I don't know which ones I'm actually gonna run for the marathon. I might try and still squeak some miles out of those. Man, those look good though. All right, so you guys <laughs> traded pairs. That's, that's, yeah, I think I like this color better. Some of you guys know about Ultra Shoes. This is the company that helped us on the Appalachian Trail by sending us pairs for free for the last two thirds of our trip. I really like this shoe company because they make a very different style of shoe. There's two main differences. Uh, the first difference is it's completely flat. So normal shoes have like a raised back which changes the way you run and it basically causes you to heel strike. This makes you run more on the, like, the ball of your foot which is more like a barefoot running type of method. Um, so I think it's better for your knees and your back. The second main difference is the width of the shoe. It's a very, it's a much more natural fit that causes your toes to be able to spread out. I've just found that it creates a more natural, comfortable method of running for the kids instead of your foot being all smashed and forcing your body to run in an unnatural way. And these shoes are not cheap when you're buying seven pairs of them. So I'm so excited that this company, when I told them of our plans to run the marathon, they helped us out again and sent us all completely free pairs uh, for us to be able to run in. So thank you Ultra for doing that. If you guys are interested, you can check out their website or whatever. We're not being paid to advertise for them or they're not giving us any kickback besides just having these shoes. My shoes actually fit me and they feel great i haven't ran in them yet but they i like how they feel and now i get to experience ultras and american cheese hey make sure you guys all eat because last time people have been getting really hungry on the runs let's see what we got going on today last time we did 10 miles Today we have 10 miles, one, two, three, four more days of running before the marathon. Seven, how do you feel? You've been skipping the training runs, huh? Um, good, I'm ready to run. Don't worry, I'm not gonna be hungry. My feet usually hurt, but when I got these, when I tried them on, they stopped hurting. They usually hurt, like, even when we're not on our running days. All right, well, this is going to be an important day. 
we need to see how your feet are feeling because if your feet feel okay in those, we're gonna have to run 26 miles in those. Um, but Felia's, uh, what, your heel has been hurting with your other shoes? Yeah. So hopefully these will work better for you, we'll see. All right, let's go, let's go people. Finished about seven miles so far. How are you feeling? Uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. Better than the last run. I'm really hot. Yeah. Uh, I'm feeling really good. Basket. Memory, how you feel? I'm feeling really good because I had some whipped cream before the run, and I think that really helps. All right, Flea, how are your shoes feeling? My heels still hurt, but they feel. Oh, really? Good. Seven, how you feeling after taking a few days off? Uh, my mom made me think I wouldn't be able to do it, but I'm doing really good. I'm impressed that he's doing as good as he is, given that he skipped a lot of runs. Okay, so technically bubble tea can be any liquid. Our, our favorite is like a slushy type smoothie. It can be warm tea, cold tea, basically anything you'd like. But what really makes it is the tapioca, well, they're tapioca balls, but call them bubbles, it's really good. I think the flavors are really well, you just taste the flavors very strongly. I don't know what the word for that is. Um, Bubble tea, it's like this full multi-sensory experience for every part of your mouth and body. It's really starting to rain now, but we only got a couple more miles before we get home. Good job, Leah. One mile left. Uh, that run was good. Uh, it felt easier than the last time we ran 10 miles two days ago, so I think it's getting easier for me personally. My legs were kind of tired towards the end, but my cardio felt pretty good. It was tough today though, because towards the end, Felia was really having a hard time with one of her feet and not really sure what that was, but hopefully we can straighten that out before the marathon. In a little bit, Ben and I are going out with someone we knew uh, through the AT. She, her and her family helped us out on the AT and that's how we met and she is coming into town. So we get to go out to dinner with her. So that'll be pretty cool. We'll see you guys tomorrow.